Hey guys! Welcome back to Scuffcraft. Guess what? We updated. That's right. We got horses now. And I'm a cat on a horse. With nothing to lose. So we tried to fix the FPS issue. I hope you appreciate it. Because it was kind of a pain in the butt. But, you know, it's all love. All for you. Today we're going to be going around looking at some cities and towns and stuff on the server. We have a five in mind. First up we have the Stonemason Empire. We start here on the Stonemason Road. Walk on down. Look at the Second Church of Scuffington. And then the Cthulhu Church of Jason. Both of them built by Blue Ball Point Pen, who also built the Stonemason Empire. The Stonemason Empire has its own house of worship. Which is also very cool. We're having some- I'm having some lag issues. Or something. I don't know. I'm sure somebody will tell me what the problem is in the comments, because you all have something to say. But, uh... Here we go. This is the Stonemason House of Worship. I don't know if it's a temple or what, but... It... It is awesome. I freaking love this guy. But my favorite thing about the Stonemason Empire are the stone trees. I just think they're genius. Next up we have Dalton, which was built by Joist, or Jowist. I'm not actually positive how you pronounce it. I accidentally shot an arrow. Oh crap. So one of the cool things about New Dalton, other than it being huge, let me show you. Let me show you how huge it is. If I can fly. Alright. So it's pretty big. I think it's pretty big. Especially for just one person to have built. Um, Joist built this with some help from his sister, Purple Birdhouse. Cat. It also has a rail system that goes all the way around it so you can take a little sightseeing tour. So there's a sweet minecart tour! Yeah! Cat in a cart, nothing like it. Oh, hey, I found the other cart, cool. Next on our cool places to live on the Film Cal server is Birdhouse Island, which was started by Purple Birdhouse, unsurprisingly, with a name like that. So it's all of the houses here are in the shape of a birdhouse. Except for this one, which is not a house. So don't worry about it. Birdhouse Island. I think we, there are about six people that live up here in the middle of the sky. It's a cute little community. We have our own farm in the sky. And also below, below the, uh, uh, below the crust are a bunch of caverns. I don't remember how to get under there, but if I did, I would totally show you, and it would blow your mind. So our next stop is this town, the name of which I cannot pronounce because it was written by a Norwegian. Murdier? Murdier? He told me, I forgot. All right, Nova Shots and Exilosis built it with the help of two of their friends, Jay Keep and Kathy... It's pretty awesome. It has this whole story behind it, which will make sense as you see it. So there are these gods living in the sky, because that's where gods live. And they were buddies, but they also didn't get along very well. But they liked to make things together. So they made a whole bunch of houses, and then they got mad at each other and started throwing the houses around. And where they landed became Murgy your village, Murdeer village, Murdeer. <sighs> Let's call it Houseland. I like calling it Houseland. I find that's easier for my American mouth to pronounce. The last stop on the tour today is this city. This is actually the third name that it's gone through since I became aware of it like five days ago. It was called Columbia, and then Calum, and now it's Octavarium. And it is really cool. 
like many great cities, it had it had some entertaining touches in it, such as the customs area. But my absolute favorite part is the windmill. I mean, there's the lighthouse. The lighthouse is pretty sweet, but we'll get to the windmill because the windmill is the coolest. Anyway, this place is amazing. I'll probably visit it, visit it again in another video. And if you're not into that, then I guess don't watch that video. This is all I have to show you today. I hope you had a lovely time. I did.